How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Voron Motors. I'm AJ Hart, here today with another guide to break down a ride. I'm gonna be going down for what I'm gonna be oh, I'm gonna be going down for a scooter today. Ooh. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Voron Motors. I'm AJ Hart, here today with another guide to break down a ride. For today's video, we're gonna go ahead and break down the Fido Q1, which is a little bit different than the Fido Q1S. The main difference is that for today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the version of our Fido that does not have suspension. But what it does have is an extra basket in the back. We'll talk a little bit about that. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing is getting the scooter, taking it out of the box, setting it up for the first ride, running down all of the features that I think are really noteworthy, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it for a little ride and I'll give you all some of my thoughts about it. I actually really like doing videos like this personally, so I'm really excited because I like taking these scooters out and playing with them. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Now, as always, the best way to open the box is with a knife. Go ahead and cut the tape off and fold those flaps down. Now, the very first thing you're going to notice along this top is this box. Now, if you open up this box, you'll see the charger and this little multi-tool. And then underneath the box, you'll see this small instruction guide. The charger that we have for the Fido is a 42 volt charger. Go ahead and put those aside. And now we're gonna remove this styrofoam here at the top. It's usually packed in pretty tight, but it isn't too difficult to get out. Once that's out, if you reach in, you should see this little bag here in the middle of the box. It says Fido on the front and you can feel all sorts of goodies in there. Now let's talk about what's in this bag. If you open up the zipper, we're gonna be a little bit careful with it because if you just yank on that thing, you can break it. Now inside this bag, you're going to see this metal ring, which is going to be the lip of the front bag. And you'll see this larger center bag that's all folded up. If you unfold it, you can see the actual dimensions of it. It's got all these little Velcro tags on it. We'll talk about this here in a little bit, but this is gonna go right there in the center. Now the only thing that's left in the box is the scooter itself, so we can go ahead and take that out. Now, let's go ahead and set up this front bag. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's open, and once it's open, you should see four little Velcro tags. Now the goal is to get the ring lined up in those Velcro slots. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this thin one that's closest to the zipper opening and slot it right there in between the two prongs of this ring. Now we can go ahead around the opening of the bag and feed that ring into all three of the remaining Velcro slots. We're gonna go ahead and zip up the bag now and you'll see that it totally keeps its shape and it's good to go. Now let's go ahead and get this scooter actually set up. You'll notice three little zip ties right here on the front of the fold. We're gonna go ahead and cut all three of those little zip ties. Once those three zip ties are cut, you can go ahead and fold the scooter up and lock down that folding mechanism. The cardboard pieces can then just be removed. Now I'm noticing that it's really loose here in the handlebars, so I'm going to tighten that down. If you come to the center of this handlebar, you'll see two little Allen screws, and you can tighten that down to tighten up the handlebars so that they don't wiggle back and forth. Once those are tight, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top of the handlebars, and I see that the key fobs are still here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those loose too. Now before we talk about those, I wanna go ahead and set up my brakes so that they're comfortable for me. I feel like, like they're a little bit low for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and take an Allen wrench and loosen up this screw on the back side of the brakes. We're just gonna go ahead and loosen that one turn, twist the brake unit up, and then tighten it back down. And just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other handlebar as well. Now let's talk about how to get that center bag into the Fido. It's kind of the selling point, so let's go over that. 
We're gonna go ahead and lay the bag into the center place and you'll see six of these Velcro tags here on the top. We're gonna go ahead and latch down all of those around the beam along the top here. Once you have all six of the Velcro straps taken care of up top, if you go down below, you'll see four more Velcro straps, two on each side. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten those down as well. Now as for getting this front bag on, if you run those forks up and under the handlebars, you should then be able to tilt the bag down and rest it right there on that fork. Now one important thing that you're going to want to do is probably charge the scooter up. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in right underneath the seat. Now one last thing, we need to talk about how to turn the Fido on. The Fido comes with a remote fob that has four buttons on it. I'm gonna go ahead and run down what each of these buttons do. On the top left, you'll notice a locking button. This is going to be how you turn off the scooter and lock it and activate its anti-theft alarm. On the top right, you're going to see an unlock button. If you press that one time, it's going to deactivate the anti-theft alarm, and you'll find that really nice if you ever need to pick up the scooter and move it around the room. On the bottom left is the siren button. If you press that, the Fido will start blaring its horn so that you can find it. And on the bottom right is the power button. If you press that button three times, the Fido will turn on. Now that's about everything that you need to get the vehicle set up all the way. The one thing that you may want to do also is go ahead and fill up those tires to a PSI of about 30. Once those tires are nice and filled and you have everything adjusted to what you personally like, we can go ahead and take this scooter out. And boy does it look good outside, huh? Let's talk about some of the measurements first. The scooter's handlebars are 24 inches long, which is nice for a really wide grip. The foot pegs are three inches wide, which is enough for your feet, but that's about it. The tires are 12 inches tall, giving a good amount of support. All in all, the scooter sits at about 40 inches tall and 47 inches long, and when folded, stands at 28 inches tall and 47 inches long. There are of course three bags on the Fido, one in the center, one in the front, and a wire basket in the back that is 12 inches by 12 inches by six inches. There's a foot peg on the rear wheel, and up on the handlebars, there's a display for your battery, as well as a button to activate the cruise control. When it's pressed in, the cruise control will activate, and when out, it is deactivated. On the left side of the handlebar, you'll see a switch that activates the headlight on this scooter, and a button that activates the horn. As far as safety features, there are disc brakes on the front brake and a disc brake on the rear brake, which are easy to tune and easy to replace. As for the internals of the scooter, it's powered by a 36 volt, 250 watt geared motor and can get a range of about 18 miles in the real world. It scoots along at probably around 15, 18 miles per hour, which I think is really nice. It's faster than some of our other scooters, but it's not gonna keep up entirely with some of our faster lines. But honestly, it doesn't really need to. If it's the scooter that's carrying all my stuff, I think that's way more important to me. So who is the scooter for really? Honestly, it's for somebody that lives in the city. Somebody that needs a little electric scooter to scoot on down to the grocery store nearby, pick up the things that they need to so that they don't have to go to the store with a whole car every couple of days. They can just hop on, scoot on over, grab what they want and come back. It's really nice for little like, oh, I want this runs, right? Oh, I want some ice cream. Let's hop on the Fido and cruise down and grab it. Oh, I want a six pack. Let's hop on the scooter, cruise on there, bring it back. It's really nice for that. Having three little spots to carry whatever you need is so nice. I know that I personally will sometimes throw the helmet in the little back basket, or I'll go ahead and put like all my camera gear in the front and center baskets, which I think is really cool. This thing is honestly like the best little errand runner. I know that whenever I've talked about this scooter, I've cracked jokes about the fact that this is the scooter that everybody here at the office is kind of competing for when lunchtime comes. We all want to be riding the Fido just because it's nice to throw our stuff in any one of those little carrying cases perfect for lunch breaks, it's perfect for little snack runs, it's perfect just to cruise around on through the city streets. The range isn't really that bad and the speed's really good too, so it's really kind of the best of everything you could need. 
That being said, it is a little bit harder to work on than the other scooters that we offer. I've never personally cracked open the front end of the Fido so that I can get into anything because it's all built within that, underneath that chair, I'm pretty sure. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more longevity, maybe you should look into the Turing or the Cruiser just because those scooters, I know how to work on those and you can do those with just about any toolkit. Can't for certain say the same thing about the Fido, but also I haven't tried yet. And I think that's about everything that I've got to say about the Fido. Like I said, this is a really, really nice little scooter, especially if you're somebody of the city that needs something to scoot around on. So with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about your scooter or about the Fido specifically, by all means, leave those questions and concerns in the comments down below. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see us do, please, please, please tell us what those ideas are in the comments as well. I need to know what to do next. We, <laughs> we hired on somebody new and I gotta put that guy to work. As always, I hope that this video helps and I hope you enjoy your ride.